Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, we are going to explore one of the SQL query optimization concepts widely used in data engineering world and that is predicate pushdown. Predicate pushdown. Okay. What is this actual algorithm is how it helps in query optimization or basically help in reducing the time taken for any transformation in big data world that we are going to explore with practical examples. Okay, so generally let's consider here we are having our SQL query. Okay, or maybe spark code and here somewhere our data is sitting. Generally in big data world what happens instead of a single file the big file is split into small small set of files so that on individual files parallel processing can be done and that way query result we can get in a faster manner right so whenever we submit any sql query or spark code it basically goes to that data source fits that data in memory or ram some locations where it does those computation and it basically return us the result okay And now I hope you are getting it from this basic diagram itself that if it is fetching large amount of data from external data source that can be S3 or HDFS or some other source for the matter of fact, then obviously it is going to take more time because number one point is network. Via network, huge amount of data when it is sending that time obviously it is going to take more time and point number two is obviously while loading the data in memory it will need some more time because the data volume is very high and most of the compute engines need to load the data in some memory locations to apply those transformations whatever we have requested via SQL query, right? So these two are major blockers when we run some SQL query on large volume of data. So now the obvious question is how to optimize this process so that lesser volume of data can be moved from the storage location to the compute platform. That way what will happen if we are sending lesser volume of data then obviously via network less volume of data will be moving so that way it will be optimized and in memory also while loading it because the data volume is less it will be faster. So that way obviously time taken to run the query will be lesser compared to default case when we are using big volume of data. Right? Now one of such technique what we can apply to improve this particular situation is predicate push. So how it works let us try to understand. So the meaning of predicate pushdown is basically using some specific section of SQL query we will filter out some amount of data in the source itself. Maybe in source if we are having 6 files we will choose only 2 files or 4 files like that. We will reject some files in the source itself so that via network it will not be moving or we not need to unnecessarily load in the memory. Basically those particular file blocks which is not at all required to execute that particular SQL query, right? So that is nothing but predicate push down or pushing down the filter conditions to the data source where our data is sitting. So that way lesser volume of data will be flowing via network or need to be loaded in memory, right? As simple as that. So pushing down the filter condition to the data source that is nothing but predicate push down. Now how it works, let me try to explain you with one example. So especially in case of parquet, and ORC, this particular predicate pushdown can occur due to specific property of these particular file formats. So suppose let's consider we are having three files in our data source currently. Okay, this is one. This is second file source, and this is our third one. Here I can give the name file one, file two file 3 okay right now within these files our data is basically stored but whenever we are considering parquet or ORC file not only the actual data it stores but it also stores some specific statistics related to several columns in those files so for example here I can write like this way so this particular section will be used for storing stats and here our actual data will be seen okay like that way for this particular file also there is some stats block and here this particular file also there is some stats block and this works remember this works only for parquet and ORC file okay now let's consider our data for a particular column here it is stored like 1 2 3 
okay in the file 1 in the file 2 it is 4 5 6 and in the file 3 it is stored like 7 8 and 9 now suppose i am executing a simple query select star from table and this table is suppose external table which is created pointing to our this particular s3 storage location okay maybe table name is table 1 right and here i can put a filter where and suppose these values are belonging to a particular column the column name is call 1 okay call 1 equal to 9 suppose this particular sql query we are executing right now whenever this kind of query will be triggered from spark or athena query engine if you are considering a normal situation what would have happened it will go to these data sources it will fetch all the data maybe it will load in some memory location and then it will scan all the files where this particular column 1 value 9 is stored right now let's explore how predicate pushdown works with this stats information so in case of park and rc as i told you that there are some stats block also stored related to some different columns and let's consider two very important stats which are stored is max and min related to different columns and suppose for this file one on the heading section here we know that mean value whatever is stored for this column one in this particular file is one and max value is three okay for this particular file suppose already in some location it is stored that mean value is four and max value is six for this particular file in the stat section it is stored mean value is seven and max value is nine now let's try to execute this query where call one equal to nine now call one mean value max value already we are getting from stats information we no need to scan the whole file actually all we can do we can go to the stats section and we can check where this call one equal to nine value might come if the mean value is one and max value is three in this file so obviously this file no need to scan because here we are expecting the value 9 which is basically greater than the maximum value whatever available in this file. So we can ignore this file scan right. Now coming to this file here this also will be rejected in the source itself okay. Only if you consider file 3 max value is 9 and we are also searching for that row where call 1 equal to 9. So this value is lesser than equal to maximum value whatever stored in this file 3. So we need to only scan this file 3 to find out that particular row for which the call 1 value is 9. So that way I hope you are getting it only using some statistics information whatever parquet or ORC by default stored in different files we are basically rejecting file 1 and file 2. So in the data source itself we no need to scan this file 1 and file 2 no need to send via network no need to load in some memory location right because those are already rejected in the source itself. And this way it is optimized because lesser volume of data we need to scan. Obviously statistic scanning we have to do. But statistic scanning is pretty much faster compared to the whole data scanning. So this is what predicate pushdown is all about. That is specific section of SQL query we are using to push down query to the data source itself. So I hope you are getting the meaning of push down. That is basically pushing down the filter towards the source data. And what is predicate? Predicate is basically this particular SQL query. Okay, because SQL query is something which is trying to consume the data or do some computation. So it is kind of acting like a predicate, right? So SQL query is called predicate and pushdown is basically this particular feature where using the stats information available in the files, we can ignore scanning some certain section of files and only consider our required files where our actual data is sitting. So this is all about predicate pushdown, Athena query engine, Spark query engine and many other cloud data warehouse platform basically use this particular optimization technique to run any transformation or query faster. And this is a very important data engineering or big data interview question as well. So I just thought to cover this. If you find this particular concept insightful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.